Hey there, Chad Barnes here for Ohio University Libraries. Let's say I want to open a fishing store or a camping store or a hiking store in a location like Spokane, Washington. Well, I've never actually been to Spokane. I do. It's kind of know it's kind of near the mountains and that kind of stuff, but I really know nothing much more about it. In order to figure out if my uh, store is going to really take off, I need to figure out what the consumers are like in that area. I can use uh, all the way from Athens, Ohio, a database called Simply Map that will give me data such as things like percent of people who like to go fishing on a regular basis, percent of people who have bought hiking shoes in the last year, percent of people who like to go mountain biking on vacation, things like that, all in Spokane, Washington or whatever location I, I choose to research. This video is going to show you how to find that data for Spokane and compare it to other cities if you wish, even uh, going down to the county level, the zip code level, even the census tract level. So this video shows you how to use that and you do it on a database called Simply Map. So here you go. So in Simply Map, not only can you create a map of various demographic variables, such in this case, uh, percent who like to go uh, hiking every chance they get, you can also map that against uh, particular establishments like businesses, including like sporting goods, stores, and things like that. So this video is going to show you how to actually do that uh, here in Simply Map. So we're going to click on the new map tab, and just for review, we're going to go into variables, and let's say we want to map um, people who go fishing uh, a lot. So we'll click on fishing. And we will do a search for fishing here. Um, it brings up 148 variables here. A lot of this is going to be like, you know, views fishing and hunting uh, um, cable channels and things like that. So here's percent who did freshwater fishing in the last uh, uh, 12 months. If we want to, we can click use this variable. Um, let's do percent who did fly fishing, uh, percent who did uh, freshwater fishing. Uh, different things like that. So, so lots of things uh, like that. Let's say percent who travel uh, like to do fishing when they travel. Let's just click on use this variable here. I actually tell you what, rather than doing that one, let's do uh, per percent who um, do fishing every chance I get. So we'll click use this variable. Lots of choices here. And uh, once we do that, we can close out. Uh, we're going to go under locations. And we're going to do uh, find location, and we'll just do cities, and we'll do Washington State here, and then we'll do uh, Spokane, Washington, and use this location. All right, so what it's going to do is going to drill down to uh, Spokane, Washington to find the percentage of people who go fishing every chance they get. So here's between, looks like between 5 and 9%. If you wanted to, you can drill down even further, and as we drill down closer, um, we can look at this if we wanted to by uh, census tracts, and you can see how it's going to change the, the color slightly once, once the data loads here for us. Um, so it kind of breaks the data down a little bit differently once it loads into uh, census tracts here. So now we've, we've populated that area there as well. So now if we want to map this against like businesses, uh, sporting goods stores, that sort of thing, we can go under businesses here. And you can see I've already done a number of different searches here. This is one of the advantages of creating an account with Simply Map because it saves your stuff. I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, I've created a sporting goods search. I'm going to show you how to do this yourself. You click on Find Businesses, and you can search by name. So if you're looking for like Dick's Sporting Goods, you can search by either business or legal name. I'm going to do the NAICS code, which is the North American Industry Classification Code. And I don't know it off the top of my head. I'm just going to click View List. I happen to know that Sporting Goods is in the Retail Trade sector in the 4-5 section, so I'm going to click on that. Uh, and we see... Um, here is a Sporting Goods Musical Instruments store in 4511. And then we can click on Sporting Goods stores and use this code here. Now, unfortunately, they don't break it down uh, any closer than like that. You can't get like bicycle shops and that sort of thing in this particular database. So you have to deal with just what's, what's available there for, for Sporting Goods there. So we're going to click Show Results. And so what this will do is it'll go in and it'll actually uh, show you on the map uh, where um, move this over a little bit so we can see here where stores are by location. So up here we can see there is a JR's Bait and Tackle, all right, or Juniors. I'm not sure if that's JR's or Juniors. Uh, here we have a Silver Bow Fly Shop. Uh, down here we actually have a Golf Shop. Okay, so because we only use this um, the primary NAICS code for sporting goods, it's going to find stuff that may not be a fishing shop, and that's okay. Uh, here we have three businesses here. There's Miller's Customs Golf Clubs. You can see there's whatever Strength and Serenity is, probably a, a workout gym or something like that. And there's Quality Bow Repairs. Okay, so, so a good way to kind of find stuff like that. Now what you can do up here 
if you can actually go in here and say make a report from businesses as well, you can also save this uh, save this map as well if you wanted to. So we're going to say uh, make report from businesses, and what it'll do is go in and create a report for us with the various companies uh, there. And if you wanted to download that, you can go under actions, download report, and download an Excel file or CSV, and it's going to find information for you as far as what the company is, uh, where they're located, uh, things like that. Okay, so a great way to what their what their primary SAC NAICS code is, things like that, to find information about the companies uh, that are in the area. Because there's a pretty good variety in the actual uh, statistics here, uh, as far as percentages who do fishing every chance they get, one way to get a better granular uh, level of data is to go up here under Actions and do a Make Ranking from Map, and this will actually go in and rank by by those census tracts what percentage in each area there. So you can kind of see the breakdowns by, by location. We're currently looking at 10 rows. You can change it if you wanted to, to look at, you know, however many amount, 25, 50, that sort of thing. And again, once again, you can download this report as an Excel file as well to work with uh, at your leisure there. So a great way to kind of do this kind of stuff. And while you're in here, you can also go and click add this to, add to, to your favorites. And so once you go into your locations, uh, you can actually have things in your favorites here to look at other uh, other reports like I did before. We did this report over here with C with Spokane and Seattle and Muncie and those comp those places. So if we go in and look at zip codes in our favorites, we can actually get down to more granular level uh, data there as well. So overall, Simply Maps great resource for looking at uh, your feasibility study, looking at demand scenarios, things like that for uh, understanding your local market. Hopefully this video helped you with your research. If you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. I'll be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and have a great day.